Let's take a look at the last week at Fire Athletics. The number one and number two men's and women's track and field team finished second at the Spikes Invitational hosted by Embry-Riddle. The Fire posted 10 first place finishes with seven on the men's side and three on the women's side. Davian Worrells finished first in the 100 meter dash with a time of 10.35, which is now the second best time in the NAIA, earning an NAIA A standard. The number 17th ranked Fire softball team went 5-0 this past week with wins over Florida National and Sun Conference opponents Thomas University. The Fire are now 23-9 on the season and added three more Sun Conference wins by sweeping the Nighthawks to hold an 11-1 conference record. Southeastern outscored their opponents 21-9 during the week. During the series with the Nighthawks, Claire Secondary improved to 11 wins on the season and allowed five runs with 18 strikeouts. The number six and five men's tennis team won both their matches, shutting out St. Olaf 9-0. And the number 13 ranked Jirene 4-3 to improve to 13-3 on the season and 3-1 in Sun Conference play. Christian Garay and Diego Menendez moved their doubles record to 11-5 on the season, and Federico Babone advanced his win streak to 10 with his 6-3 and 6-2 scores in a single match against Ave Maria. The number five women's tennis team split their matches last week with a win over St. Olaf and a loss to the number six ranked Ave Maria Jirene's 4-3. The Fire defeated St. Olaf 8-1 with the aid of Beatrice Letizia advancing her win streak to five and Isabella Forcella earning her first win of the season in a three-set battle at the line six. Martina Picardi won both her matches during the week to move her singles record to 8-3. to three. The number one ranked Fire baseball team went 2-1 over the weekend in their Sun Conference matchup against Ave Marina University. In Game 1, the Fire took away with a 10-8 victory, scoring 6 runs in the last 4 innings. The Fire dropped the second game before taking Game 3 in a dominant fashion. Danny Batcher improved to 7-0 on the season and only allowed 1 hit in 8 innings of work while striking out 6 of the batters he faced. The Fire improved to 35-2 on the season and 8-1 and in Sun Conference play. The number six ranked Southeastern's women's golf team finished fourth at the Music City Classic at Hermitage Golf Course. The Fire posted a team score of 305 in the first round and had the third best score in the field in Monday's second round at 301. On Tuesday, the Fire finished with a total of 302, finishing seven shots ahead of NCAA Division I opponent Belmont, who finished in fifth place. The Southeastern Beach Volleyball team went one and two over the week in Babson Park, Florida to fall to six and six on the season. Fire dropped their match to William Carey 3-2 before taking a 5-0 victory over Loyola University with three of the five sets going to a tiebreaker set. The Fire dropped their third match against the University of Mobile 4-1.